These six signs mean you're experiencing compassion fatigue. Hello everyone. Compassion fatigue, or also known as the secondhand shock, is a type of stress that comes from the urge of wanting to help others who are traumatized or under significant emotional pain. If you're an empath, then you know this all too well. Empaths always strive to help those in need, and sometimes even sacrifice their own for the sake of others. You know, considering others' feelings and treating them with kindness is something we must do, but sacrificing ourselves in doing so is not. All kinds of people-pleasing acts without compromising what you are and what you need will eventually lead to self-abandonment. And when you start experiencing compassion fatigue, that's when things just turn out for the worst because your day always seems to be bad. Do you think you've been too nice for your own good at this time? And now you feel really tired of it? If so, here are six signs you're experiencing compassion fatigue. Number one, rage and anger. When you're angry at the one who is suffering or experiencing abuse. This is a tough spot to be in because you mostly don't choose to be angry at the recipient of abuse, knowing that it's none of their faults that they're going through such. They only reached out to you for help and it's your role to show empathy and offer some support if possible. However, if you're still angry at them after this realization, compassion fatigue may have set in. Number two, you feel apathy towards the victim. When you begin to feel tired of the complaints and find it difficult to listen to your friend talk about their problems, apathy has set in. You'll notice that it's so unlike you not to make a move to help them. This is a sign of compassion fatigue. You can salvage the situation by giving yourself some time off from the problem. Alternatively, you can involve a better hand than you to handle it. In all, do not let it all out on the victim of abuse. You'll be forcing them to recoil into their shells when you do that. Number three, you'll find that you're fast turning into a pessimist. It is frustrating to have the mindset that nothing you do to lend a helping hand towards a situation will work. What compassion fatigue does is that it magnifies the realization and makes you begin to see only the bad in everything. If you were once a very optimistic person and you find yourself having only negative thoughts of recent, it might be compassion fatigue that is setting in. Number four, you begin to avoid people and isolate yourself from them. When it is not just the people bringing their problems to you that you're avoiding, but just about everyone else, it is a sign of compassion fatigue. You'll find that you feel overwhelmed to the extent that you're disjoint from even people who add good values to your life. Number five, you have a tough time deciding whether or not to stay in or go out. You'll find that you have great difficulty with choosing whether you'll stay indoors or step out. Previously, you're definite about what you want and go for it. But lately, you always dilly-dally when it involves going out because somehow you became averse to mingling with other people. And number six, loss of pleasure in life. You're someone who always shows compassion towards others, not only because you want to know their situation, but you genuinely want to give your support. You feel so much pleasure when you're able to ease other people's burdens. However, all of those feelings now gone. You don't have the desire to help even yourself, let alone others. You neglect to take care of yourself and sometimes even feel hopeless and powerless. If this is what you feel, then you're experiencing compassion fatigue. Well, do you think this information is useful for you? I hope you can gain a new understanding from watching this video. Subscribe to this channel to watch more insightful videos in the future. Thanks for watching.